I'm making this video right now because I'm very angry. I'm angry because I've talked to people who are not voting. And the reason they give for not voting is that they don't know enough about the candidates. My question is, how can you not know enough about the candidates? You ever hear Google? Midterms don't have a lot of candidates running. And if you don't have a lot of initiatives in your place where you live, you just have to vote for candidates who have records, candidates who have votes, candidates who stand for something. So you can't really say, I can't vote because I don't know their records because you have Google, you have access to it. You can find out their records. You can find out what they stand for. You can find out what you stand for. What do you stand for? Do you stand for nothing? Do you stand for not knowing? There's a lot of excuses for not voting that I will accept. If someone says to me, I choose not to vote, because I don't want to be a part of the system. I've looked at the candidates. I've looked at their records. And I wash my hands of all of them. I can accept that. I can put that in my bonnet. And I can walk away with it. What I can't accept are people who say, I'm not voting because I don't know the candidates. I don't know what's happening. I don't know who's running. You can't really have that as a excuse. Google is there. And in milliseconds, it can tell you everything you need to know from reputable sources. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, if we wanted to know anything about anything, we had to go to the library and we had to use something called the Dewey Decimal System. We had to look in these cards, pick out a card, take it to the library, librarian and then the librarian would give us a book and then we'd have to read that book which would take time so on election day it was impossible for us to really know anything unless we paid attention now even if you don't pay attention we have google you can google the candidates see what they stand for See where they stand and see if you align with it. If you do that and then decide not to vote, I'm on your side. I def will defend you. I will stand with you. But if without any research, you say, I just don't know. I don't want to be involved. Then you've already voted. So any harm that the befalls you from this administration and what their plans are for Social Security, for Medicaid, for immigration, for even the 14th Amendment. Did you think Trump was joking? Did you think he was speaking out of turn? Did you think he didn't know what he was talking about? Trump has put federal judges in place in all along the line. He has put federal judges in place that support his agenda. Look at the backgrounds of the federal judges. Do a little work. Go on Google and pull down a list of the federal judges that he has appointed and what they stand for. Those lower level federal judges, along with two judges on the Supreme Court. And all I'm going to say is you should be afraid. You should be very afraid and you should do your research. Google a little and find out so that you can vote in a way that makes sense for you so that you can vote in your best interest. If you don't do that, God help you and God help us. We're out here voting and trying to make things better and you're just living your life and leaving it up to the people in charge who don't care a whit about you, starting with our president.